Hello everyone and welcome back to Sims 4 and we are here with Iris and Tate Green and they are on their date because today is going to be Iris's birthday. I just can't believe it and one of her big wishes because she has the soulmate aspiration is to go on two silver level dates with her husband. So here we are, we're out with Tate. We are at her favorite place, the museum and she just painted this gorgeous flirty painting and we are now trying to finish up their little quest to be able to get to the top of the little the little date meter and so far we're not very high up the date meter even though we smooched on the couch so she's telling a um i think what's it called like an enticing story to him right now and i'm hoping that's going to help things along they're both getting kind of hungry and tate is actually tired he's never tired so that's kind of like really silly thing Oh, hey, there's a person. Beatrice, I'm pretty sure. Beatrice, we're, I'm pretty sure we're friends with her. Have deeper conversations with the date. Flirt with the date. We're definitely feeling flirty. So let's go ahead. And we're going to let's see, kiss the hands. We're going to just get straight up flirt. But yeah, we're up here in one of the awesome rooms. It has this cute little like oh, sh ship sail thing. Excuse me, ma'am. You're like getting right in the way of mid like flirtiness. Look at her. She's like, I'm just trying to admire the modern art in this room or like the modern TV in this room dedicated to art. Like, look at this little ship. I don't know why. Why have I never noticed this little ship before? But it's adorable. It's absolutely adorable. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with that thing, but it's so cute. So we're back over here. All right, Iris. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, oh, you've both got to be a little bit flirty, huh? Well, let's try a little bit of kissing of the hands. Romance. What are you doing in our... What is she doing? She's like complaining about their date. I don't believe this. Um, let's offer a rose to Iris because that sounds adorable. Iris, are you talking about moving out now that you're a grandma? Oh my gosh, look at her. She is just mocking. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's mocking this co our couple on their date. Excuse me, ma'am. With your abundant mismatched accessories, I have a very sweet look at Iris. She's like, "Oh, you're gonna you're gonna tease me." Look at this self-satisfied smiles they've got on their face. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna enjoy our date, even if you are here, kind of bothering us. That is power to you, Iris. 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 Do a sexy pose. Do a sexy pose, Iris. That's right. You, no, you're. She's. She is just a brat. Look at her. She's like, oh, public displays of affection. Oh, Iris. She's like, oh yeah. We'll take this. Look at her glare. She's like, I am having a good, a wonderful time with my husband. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect this. You know what? I think Iris is gonna go over there and sass her out. We'll flirt one more time. Oh, they've been flirting. Good. All right. And then Iris, I'm gonna have her come over. What is the, like, sexiest kiss she can do? Kiss hands, kiss cheek, kiss, kiss, passionate kiss. We're going to do a passionate kiss, and then we're going to come over here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, sweet. We're at gold level already. And we are going to... Iris is a little bit of, like, a color theorist, so I think she would come over and, as mean it is, as it is, this woman was mean first... She's going to give her husband a really look enticing kiss. In your face, woman. In your face. You're going to have to put up with it. Look at her. She's just jealous, Iris. She's just jealous. You've still got it. You're about to go silver-haired today, but you've still got it. So don't you worry about anything. And now she's mocking her outfit. And I think... I think we would imply your mother is a llama just to finish this and then brush off so we just implied that this woman's mother is a llama because of her bad behavior and her ill manners if you ask me and now we're going to brush her off so that's right oh look at how confident that's hilarious and now iris is feeling super confident even though she told a bad joke but i think that's amazing i think she like asserted herself she's not feeling flirty anymore because that woman's trying to like ruin their date but she asserted herself and now we're going to end the um we're going to go ahead and end the little social event yay Woohoo! and there's a reward hiding in the household uh, inventory so we'll check that out later and now we're going to go ahead and ask tate out right on another date so they're getting a little bit hungry so let's go ahead we're going to ask tate out on a date whoops there we go all right tate you doing okay he's like i need a cool shower goodness ask, you're not asking 
asking Liberty to be on a date? What on earth is that about? So maybe they're upset by her bad joke. That's my theory. I'm going to remember you. I say, I say this woman gets a little bit jealous about public displays of affection. Maybe, maybe we'll find out another side to her one day. Maybe she'll be some sort of friend one day. But now she is an art lover who we're wagging our fingers at for being rude to everybody. All right. So as far as restaurants go, I don't actually have that many restaurants. In fact, I don't think I have any restaurants. Are restaurants even a thing yet? Okay, we're going to go. I do. I do. I do have some. Not in Newcrest. What am I doing? It's the Magnolia Promenade. That's what I mean. We're going to really start building up the neighborhoods, you guys. All your ideas. I want to hear them. Woo! This is going to be awesome. I'm so excited for them. So what do you mean this lot is not available? What do you mean this lot is not available? I want to go to those lots. Well, we're going to come over here to the Roadstead Park and then walk across the street to the cafe, which should be available, if you ask me, for going on a date. I don't know why it says they aren't available. That's going to be a little interesting because those are retail shops that should be opened where we can buy like this fancy fish meal and Tate really loves eating fish. So we're going to go over there. Though this is a really cute park actually. So we'll kind of look at this park first because this park is one that I found that looks kind of like a, um, a pier, like a boardwalk or a pier that you'd find at a beach. So here we go. We're gonna check. We're gonna check. Oh, and there's somebody who's who's playing with Clay, and he's dressed like Tate. We're gonna be friends with him, and it looks like his kids here. Like, Dad, I can't believe we're here. Why are we here? But let's check out their date here at the pier because it is freaking cute. Is this not just the cutest place ever? So this is the pier. I have no idea what it's actually called. I will look it up for you guys. I will try to remember to find like, is it in my gallery? Let's, let's check my gallery really quickly because this is so cute. I think it's just perfect for you guys. If you want something really unique, where did I find it even? Do I even have it in here? Oh, I don't even know where I found it. I can't believe I don't have it in my library. Uh, nope, I don't have it in my library. Darn, I guess jumping around, I have moved around quite a bit uh, with my files, so I'm going to have to figure out the lot information on this, but I will find out the lot information on this, and then I will share it with you guys, because look at how cute this is. So we are here in Magnolia Promenade, and over here, there's like a little boardwalk, and what you're going to find are kind of like all of the fake little archery. I mean, look at that. There's even the, the little, oh, there's another little ship. There's another little ship. What is it with adorable little ships today? I just can't get enough of that. Look at it. It's a little steamboat. I grew up in Missouri, so steamboats were a big thing for the Mississippi. Mississippi River and that is just so cool and of course they made us meet like read all the Mark Twain books that had <laughs> steamboats in them but like there's a little target shooting area kiosk uh, to like mimic being able to play the games here look at this the way this is set up is so that you can try to win some of these prizes oh we should pretend to win one of those prizes and they can give it to their granddaughter that would be adorable from like throwing the little balls um, over here we've got like a fake little horseshoe throwing set up I think that's so cute <gasps> we should take home one of those ladybugs we're going to take home one of those ladybugs for their granddaughter, Fern. And then there's these big ones over here. Like you could buy these big ones and then like you can come around. You can see they have like a little carousel, mock carousel area where the kids could come over and they can pretend to ride a carousel, which is really adorable. Uh, you got like little, uh, this is the strength, like, you know, the strong man item. Isn't this amazing? Look at this. It's like the little strong man item. Uh, we have somebody hanging out over there. There's like places to paint. There's places just to sit back with like a nice brewskis or something, I guess. I think that's what they call drinks. I don't drink, so I hope I got that right. But look at this. Look at this, you guys. Over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is apparently the river I just got chucked into. Uh, where am I? Here I am. <laughs> and then here is a little merry-go-round. Or not merry-go-round. What am I thinking? Ferris wheel. Jeez, you can tell it's been a while since I've been to a carnival. Oh my gosh. But here is a really amazing Ferris wheel that I just thought is so awesome. Just all the little details. There's a ton of fish over here. I should turn this place into a retail shop and then I should be able to come over and actually put some items that... Oh, we could grill something over here. Boom. Take that. Take that retail shops that don't want to let me travel to them huh oh if you are on a date you guys you can't go to retail shops what is that nonsense well okay they're gonna grill up something over here and we're gonna pretend that they're like playing all of the little item like all the little um boardwalk 
things that are over here because this is just so cute. I mean, this is, oh my gosh. I mean, look at this. It's just beautiful and it's so well built and it's so creative. We're going to have some fun with this. I need a picture of like, hang on, Iris. This is the day you become like an elder. So we need to commemorate the day carefully with lots of pictures. I just have no idea. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I'll stop now. I promise. I know I do this so much and everyone's like, Sarah, why all the pictures? Because I have scrapbooking genetics, you guys. That's why. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to get started. Iris, let's reinvigorate everything. Let's just come right over and kiss your husband's cheek. And let's see. Let's express fondness for him because we're not going to let that cranky woman get in the way of your wonderful date day with your husband and being able just to have a fantastic day at the boardwalk together because this that's important. All right. And then are they still flirting? No, they're just kind of chit-chatting. All right. Tate, you might need to be a little bit. Look at Iris. She's like, honey, we're on a date. Let's not discuss our granddaughter's homework. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's offer the rose again. More roses. Why not? Oh, that's more like it. That is more like it. If you ask me, oh my gosh, and there's a big steamboat in the background. All right. Iris. Oh. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They're just doing that on their own. Okay, well, I'm glad they're having... Stop talking about your granddaughter's homework, Tate. He's getting a little bit older, isn't he? So he's, he's kind of getting a bit older. Okay, Iris. Let's go ahead. We're just going to give him a kiss. Kind of like, okay, honey. We're not going to we're not gonna talk about this. What was the video game thing? Impressed with video game prowess is a flirty thing. That's adorable. There we go. There we go. Make, our, make her husband, like, kind of get the message, get the idea... Kind of focus that better. That's better, Iris. She does look very happy with him. Help him get the idea. That's better. And then we'll have him come over here. So sit together across from the man who's going to be spending all his time. He's trying to figure out how to knock down those jars. That's what he's doing. He's like, I'm going to figure this out. I mean, look at how cute these are. Oh my gosh, everything is just way too cute. What the heck, a doodle? There's a basement thing. What? What? Is that just like hiding down there to make this a park? I have no idea. Well, we found a secret buried pirate ship. Not just a bio, like buried treasure. We found the entire freaking pirate ship. Oh. All right. Man, Tate, why are you getting tired now? You're like never tired at home. All right, what does he want to do? He wants to tell her a dirty joke. That's adorable. You're, he's turning into such an old man. Um, Let's see. Whisper sweet nothings. And then tease flirtatiously. Ask a rusque question. Let's see. Um, look deeply into eyes. Sexy pose. Make a move. Oh my gosh. <gasps> but look, even though he's a little old tired man, look at that sincerity and look at that adorableness and like his, his expression. Okay, enough with the pictures. It's just today is the last day. She's going to be which she is. She's going to be an elder from now on. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. I can't get enough of these two. I really can't. Oh, my gosh. I mean, look at that. Look at her happy little smile. The facial animations are just beyond perfect. All right. So enough of this nonsense, though. I know I've been going on and on about all the most silly things. She just wants she wants to be funny with Zoe. There we go. Ask Tate about his day. That is going to help us out with actually finishing her little date request. So let's go ahead, ask Tate about his day and give him a little massage. Maybe we'll give him a little snuggle. Yay! We achieved it, you guys. Now we're at silver level and we're going to finish the date in just a second. Boom. There we go. And so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to finish the date. And she has completed her milestone. Yay, Iris. There you go. Now she wants to perform 50 romantic gestures with spouse as soulmates and earn gold on three dates with the spouse. Well, that's going to be her like golden anniversary goal, if you ask me, uh, with the three dates. But they're getting hungry. So let me see if I can kind of, I'm just going to see if I can casually reach in here. Can I grab you? Okay, so we're going to remember, we'll have her view mm, this blue one. 
and we'll say that she's thinking Mommy. about her granddaughter. Sure. Oh, she can't do it. Well, we're going to pretend that they're going to win this. And what the heck is on this person's head? Oh, it's Alexander. And he just has like a little pom pom on his head. And we're going to pop over, travel here with, where's Tate? We're going to travel there with Tate. And to finish things up, we are going to pop across the street to this very fancy, it's kind of like a floral store slash a like bakery slash somewhere to buy really fancy fish that they basically just caught right out of the river. So it's a really nice place. It needs a name. What kind of place would you call a place that has, that sells like a lot of fresh flowers, but they also sell like fresh baked goods and they also sell fresh fish meals. So I need a name for this place. I'll show you guys around. We've been in it before a couple times, but it's going to be really fun. We'll pop in here and we will get them some dinner and finish up their date day. I'm so excited. All right. So here we are. There's somebody over here cleaning up. <gasps> no way. The employee here. We found her. You guys, can you believe this? It's the same nasty woman is the employee here who like was just yelling at them at the museum over her jealousy over their nice date. I don't believe this. This is amazing. We're going to buy some flowers. We're going to buy some food. We're going to be kind of saucy about this. We're going to make like Travis, who's apparently an elder, like help us out here. This is going to be amazing. So let's come over. We're going to get some walleye surprise or ooh, the herb crusted salmon actually that sounds something more up Tate's alley so Tate would probably want that so let's come on over here we're gonna grab some herb crusted salmon and then iris I'm thinking there's the soft shell crab cake the trout um the garden salad let's see the grilled fruit the tuna casserole the wrapped asparagus. I kind of feel like she'd go for the wrapped asparagus. So we're going to send her over there. I'm glad they have enough money. But yeah, as you can tell, this is a very fancy. Oh, there's another woman over here too. So there's multiple employees. I can't believe she is our employee. I think Iris might say something sassy to her because Iris is kind of that way. Oh, we're just going to walk behind the counter to get our stuff. Don't mind us. All right. And what is she doing? Oh, now the woman's happy because she's like at work, I guess. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our meal. Let's grab a plate. Oh, wow. We actually had a lot of plates in here. Let's grab a serving. And Iris, let's go ahead and grab a serving. And they're going to sit down. Tate. Tate. Oh, for crying out loud, Tate. Get over here. Oh, wait. No, don't sit over there, Tate. Come outside with your wife. Wherever she's going. Come sit over here, Tate. Oh, he's in there. there she, look at her. She's sassing us. We should be able to report bad employees for their behavior. You have some problems. You have some deep, like deep problems. Are you mean against the elderly? Is that what it is? We'll, we'll deal with you. We'll deal with you one day. Find out what's going wrong. Oh, and now they're on their little like dinner part of their, their date day. Oh, look at them. Okay, I promise. I promise. Not many more pictures. It's just they're going to be dead soon. <laughs> That's the reality of it. They're going to be dead soon. So, oh my gosh. Yes. I love it. With the little hearts. Oh, that's just perfect. Is that not just the cutest thing in the world? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And so I'm really glad that she managed to reach that first milestone in her soulmate, uh, like, aspiration that she wants to do because I think that's important. She really feels like she has her soulmate. Oh, so perform, let's see, let's try offer rose. What's something romantic? Express fondness. Just the good old fondness for the times gone by, the happy Slay. life lived. You're a good person. She's like, you're a good person, Tate. I love you. He's like, oh, well, I love you too. Try for a baby. <laughs> no, it's not the time for this. It's her birthday today, man. You have grandbabies. Ooh, and I think they both enjoyed excellent quality food that they're very happy with. So there we go. Let's blow her another kiss. So this is awesome. And she's over here getting like romantic gestures piling up one after another. Let's see. Oh, that's just so sweet. And then we're just going to do express fondness again. And then I think once they're done eating, 
it'll be time to go home and we will get iris's birthday Ooh, celebrated so that they can it. oh she is really enjoying her food i'm glad this is good food but all right they're about done i'm gonna send them home in just a moment um i do think actually what is she gaining experience for i wonder all right, actually, I am going to let them finish up their meal really quickly, and then I'm going to send Iris inside to, like, yell at that employee for just a second. Well, you know what? No, we won't We won't today, but we won't forget this. We won't forget this, because these two, I think, are too caught up in each other. <laughs> Look at his little eyes rolling. They're too caught up in each other for her to bother going back in there and yelling at you. I see you walking by there, ma'am. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here for the little lovely couple and her adorable Irisy hamster cheeks. Oh, Oh, that's so cute. Iris, Iris, your hamster cheeks. It loves your hamster cheeks. They're just adorable. They're just the cutest things in the world. And then I will see you guys back here next time when we will have Iris's birthday with the family. Yay! So I'll see you then, guys. Bye-bye.